The Galaxy S24 series is finally official after a long streak of leaks and rumors. Samsung unveiled its latest and greatest smartphone offerings on January 17, bringing refinements across the board. The new models feature slightly different design, flat displays, and flatter sides and some clever software magic on board. The S24 family comes in three flavors as well as the Vanilla Galaxy S24, the Galaxy S24 Plus, and the Galaxy S24 Ultra. In this review, we are going to compare the Galaxy S24 and its bigger brother, the Galaxy S24 Plus. What are the main differences between these two flagships? How do they stack up against each other? Do you get anything other than a bigger screen and a larger battery if you opt for the Plus? And most importantly, which one should you buy? Let's get it and answer all those pressing questions. There is not much difference between these two when it comes to design. As we already told you, if you are making a buying decision based on the design, there's only one thing that matters, size. The Galaxy S24 is 147 x 70.6 x 7.6 mm and weighs 268 grams, while the Galaxy S24 Plus comes at 162.3 by 79 by 8.6 mm and weighs 233 gram. Let's see if there are other differences hidden deep inside these two devices. Unsurprisingly, both the Galaxy S24 and the Galaxy S24 Plus come with the latest Qualcomm chipset and the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. The chip bears the 4 Galaxy moniker which means it's slightly overclocked and optimized to work with the S24 series. Samsung has redesigned and optimized the cooling system too, so heat dissipation should be better on these new flagships. The memory configuration is in favor of the bigger and more expensive model. The S24 Plus starts at 12GB RAM and 256GB of onboard storage, while the Vanilla S24 comes in an 8GB and 128GB base configuration. This is indeed the only notable difference between the two models regarding the hardware inside. There is no microSD card expansion on neither of the two, but that's to be expected. On the software front, there are a lot of improvements. Samsung is hoping on the AI train and this year we have Galaxy AI powered by a hybrid on device and cloud system. This AI aims to make your life easier and offers some very cool features such as the ability to translate voice calls, voice text messages in real time, transcribe audio, search interactively inside apps, get note summaries and many more. Check out our full Galaxy S24 reviews for a deep dive in all those cool new features. What matters in this comparison is that both the Galaxy S24 and S24 Plus featured the full set of AI magic, so there is no need to sacrifice anything if you choose one model over the other. The software update situation has changed drastically, probably to react to the Pixel 8. Samsung will now offer 7 years of major OS updates with the Galaxy S24 and the Galaxy S24 Plus. The Galaxy S24 and S24 Plus feature identical camera systems with three cameras on the back and one hole punch selfie camera on the front. Here's the full rundown. 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, 50 megapixel wide camera with YS, 10 megapixel telephoto camera with 3x optical zoom, and 12 megapixel front camera. This might sound disappointing, but as well, we know computational photography is king nowadays, and with the help of the newly announced Galaxy AI system, both phones should produce better shots. Samsung promised improved low light performance, resulting in sharper, brighter, and smoother night photos and videos. There is some clever gyro magic going on, supported by AI algorithms that distinguish between your movements and the object movements to offer better stabilization. The algorithms behind the color representation have also been tuned and the Samsung says you should expect more realistic colors from your photos and videos. We will test this as soon as possible and include samples for your viewing pleasure. Again, the key takedown here is that the camera system is identical on both phones, so you can't use it as a reason to choose one model over the other. 
there are no huge upgrades to the stereo system on the both Galaxy S24 and Galaxy S24 Plus. The same goes for the haptic motors in both phones. There is no need these to be upgraded as the last generation already offers great haptics and audio quality. A slight difference be might come from the size differences between the two devices. The bigger Galaxy S24 Plus might be more resonant and more vassy due to the bigger space available for the sound waves, but of course we'll have to wait and hear for ourselves. So there you have it, our detailed comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S24 and S24 Plus. There is almost no difference between these two phones apart from the size and what come along with it. If you have to decide between the two, the valid question to be asked is, do you need a bigger screen and a larger battery, and are you prepared to pay extra for those? Other than that, the Galaxy S24 and S24 Plus are almost identical and offer a very similar user experiences.